Well, for many students, school is out and summer is in. Some are still learning in Fayetteville, especially when it comes to reading and improving their reading skills. Which is so critical. Five News reporter Jose Carranza visited the district's summer camp called Excel, where students are trying to catch up to their peers and educators are trying to catch up to a new education policy. Education continues into the summer months in Fayetteville, with educators hosting summer camps to help students catch up in a changing world. I've heard kids come in when they're here in the morning telling their teachers how happy they are that they're here to help them because they want to be better readers. In its first year, Camp Excel is making sure second graders are ready to read when they get to the third grade. I feel like literacy is such an important subject in school, especially for these students going into third grade um, because third grade is such a monumental year in school. Parker Evitt is one of the five teachers instructing 55 students Fayetteville recognizes needing help, but many more will join with all in the Arkansas education field preparing. This camp was a direct response to the LEARNS Act. The first letter of the Arkansas LEARNS Act focuses on literacy. Data from the 2022 ACT Aspire test show only 35% of students were reading at grade level. Starting in the 25-26 school year, third grade students who aren't reading at grade level won't move on to the fourth grade by law. They start reading more advanced um, stories and they start to get a lot of the testing things. Um, it starts to get more intensive and so that's why third grade is such an important year. The state is providing resources like literacy coaches for students, but since the passing of the LEARNS Act, educators will continue to face one issue, change. We are still um, looking at the different parts of that and things are still are still changing. We had just that part of the LEARNS Act with the retention of, sec of the, those third graders just changed a couple weeks ago. So when something new comes out, we look at it, we see what's best for our students, we adapt, we make changes, we implement, and then we look at the data to see if that is working or not, and then we continue to constantly strive to get better. In Fayetteville, covering news where you live, Jose Carranza, 5 News.